good morning class 9th today we will start with your second chapter from moments the adventures of toto by ruskin bond ruskin bond is a famous writer in english who has written so many volumes of books for children and he is he has written about when we read his story we find those stories are um, related to our common life and best for children this story the adventure of toto is an adventurous story and even the humorous one where a naughty monkey named toto is there and this monkey used to play so many pranks and these pranks are narrated by the author in an interesting way basically when we are talking about this chapter we come to know that what kind of experience people go through who used to keep animals as pet you all might many of you might be having pets at your home and uh, generally people have dogs and cats as pets and sometimes even birds and they uh, interact with them many animals adapt themselves according to human uh, way of life but most of the uh, the animals they cannot adapt themselves um, according to the human life so interaction between human and animals uh, is shown through this story and it is also shown that not all the animals adapt themselves according to human way of life so let's start and understand the story in detail the adventure of toto now uh, as we know i already told you that uh, toto was a monkey uh, so the author wanted to uh, describe about this monkey story how he kept it as, as a uh, this monkey came to their house as a pet brought by his grandfather so toto is a baby monkey let's find out what whether he is a mischievous or the side let's start with it grandfather brought toto from a tongo driver from the sum of 5 rupees for the sum of 5 rupees the tonga driver used to keep the little red monkey tied to a feeding trot and the monkey looked so out of place there that grandfather decided he would add the little fellow to his private zoo so author is describing the story when his grandfather brought toto this is the name of the monkey from a tongo driver tongo refers to house uh, horse cart and he bought it only for 5 rupees so uh, why he brought this monkey there because he find that this small monkey little red monkey who was just uh, tied just by feeding trot feeding trot is referred to that uh, pot where horse used to um, eat their feed so he was tied there and he find that the monkey it is not the right place for monkey so he brought it uh, that monkey to his little private zoo so that shows that they are already having private zoo indicate that they were already having so many pets at their home toto was a pretty monkey his bright eyes sparkled with mischief beneath deep set eyebrows and his teeth which were a pearly white were very often displayed in smile that frightened the lives out of elderly anglo indian ladies but he uh, his hands looked dried up as though they had been prickled in the sun for many years yet his fingers were qu- quick and erect and his tail while adding to his good looks grandfather believes a tail would add to anyone's good looks also served as a third hand he could use it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of the reach of his hands so very beautiful description in this paragraph about this monkey is given the physical description that what kind of big eyes were sparkling eyes were there and his um, i this he showed beneath these eyebrows this eyes were sh- showing mischief 
and teeth were white as pearl and when he used to smile it used to frighten anglo indian ladies anglo indian community refers to people who belong to both the countries britain and india many of the people uh, when the british rule ended in india they settled down in india although they were british people these people settled in india and they were called as anglo indian community so these anglo indian ladies used to frighten when this monkey used to show the smile but his hands looked dried up as though they had been prickled if you have observed a monkey their hand are dried up so he is referring as if they are pickled in the sun for many years so just as we keep things to dry up in the sun and they got dried up the same way he said the writer is saying that his hands looks like that yet his fingers were quick and wicked the you know that monkeys are very quick with their fingers and they use the tail also for um, picking up the thing so this was description of monkey the way he used to act so he could hang from the branch with his tail and he can pick up scooping up any delicacy means he can lift any of the things which he wanted to eat with his uh, tail also and according to the grandfather opinion uh, if an animal is having a tail tail looks very good on animals and according to grandfather so they like the looks of uh, this young child the author also like the look of this uh, toto monkey and grandfather also like this pet grandmother always first when grandfather brought home some new bird or animal so it was decided that toto's presence should be kept a secret from her until she was in a particular good particularly good mood grandfather and i put him away in a little closet opening into my bedroom wall where he was tied securely or so we thought to a peg fastened into the wall now what they did is grandmother uh, don't like that uh, whenever the grandfather used to bring new pets so she don't like bringing so many pets to home whenever a new bird or any animal is brought home she don't like it she create a, f- a fuss over it so uh, they decided that we are going to keep this information secret that toto is brought home so grandfather and his grandson this author they quietly put this monkey into the closet a small elmira there in the room of bedroom wall which was in the bedroom wall of the author and he was tied there securely where a peg was fastened into the wall peg refers to a small nail where he was kept there so that he don't run away from there here and there you know that monkeys are quite active they are considered to be very active animals so uh a little few hours later when grandfather and i became back to release toto we found that the walls which had been covered with some ornamental papers chosen by grandfather now stood out as naked brick and plaster the peg in the wall had been wrenched from its socket and my school blazer which had been hanging there was in shreds now what happened after some hours what happened grandfather and um, the author when they came back to make free this uh, animal from that closet what they found that the walls which had been covered with some ornamental paper the walls which were there uh, some paper was covered with it ornamental paper refers to a decorative paper which grandfather has chosen that ornamental paper now that cover is no more there that means this monkey torn that ornamental paper and the naked brick and plaster could be seen uh, because that wall was not covered the bricks and plaster could be seen because now that paper is not over it so here naked refers to uncovered bricks and plaster that could be seen on the wall so this monkey started with destruction in the house the peg in the wall had been wrenched from its socket now to which he was tied the nail or a hook where he was tied it was wrenched from the socket that means just broken from the attachment where it was put in the wall and the blazer or school blazer of the author is 
cut into slices so th that's how this monkey started destroying things in the house that was his entry in the entry at this home i wondered what grandmother would say but grandfather didn't worry he seemed pleased with toto's performance now um, what this monkey did the author was worried that grandmother is going to be angry but grandfather was a bit relaxed he know that this is the way uh, animals used to behave and a monkey uh, behave in such a manner and then he, he uh, give him a uh, positive remark by saying him he is clever said grandfather given time i'm sure he could have tried the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his escape from the window so he appreciated his effort of this monkey that maybe he is so intelligent enough that if we have given him time he is going to make a rope out of this blazer and he is going to escape from the window of the room so he appreciate the efforts of that monkey or whatever he did his presence in the house still a secret toto was now transferred to a big cage in the servant quarters where a number of grandfather's pets lived very sociably together a tortoise a pair of rabbits a tame squirrel and for a while my pet goat but the monkey wouldn't allow any of these his companions to sleep at night so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect his pension in saharanpur decided to take him along now uh, in this paragraph uh, the author describe that how this monkey was now shifted to a new place because although uh, grandmother did not know that the monkey is in the house till this time now he was transferred to the servants quarters uh, where there were other pets were living there and they lived socially with each other the author described that all the animals it may be the tortoise pair of rabbit tame squirrel all these animals these pet goats they live together quite peacefully but toto does not let other animals sleep because uh, he is very active and uh, thus uh, this monkey used to create a lot of disturbance so grandfather who had to leave dehradun next day to collect his pension in saharanpur decided to take him along so as his grandfather thought that this monkey was disturbing all the other animals in the uh, servants quarters so what he should uh, he should take this monkey with him to saharanpur where he was to go to collect his pension so unfortunately i could not accompany grandfather on that trip but he told me about it afterwards a big black canvas kit bag was provided for toto this with some straw at the bottom become his new abode when the bag was closed there was no escape toto could not get his hands through the opening and the canvas was too strong for him to bite this way through his efforts to get out only had the effect of making the bag roll about on the floor or occasionally jump into the air an exhibition that attracted a curious crowd of onlookers on the dehradun railway platform so what happened when next day the uh, grandfather went to uh, saharanpur to collect his pension so uh, he uh, the author could not accompany with his grandfather but grandfather told all the incident to his grandson later on so how he was this monkey was packed he was put in a black canvas kit bag with straws at the bottom and this was his new house a board refers to new house where and the, this bag was closed so that he could not escape anywhere uh he could not even get his hands through the opening and the this bag was very strong bag this canvas bag was strong one he cannot bite it so only what he can do is he can only jump through it or uh, either he can roll the bag and this action of rolling the bag or making this thing uh, jump in the bag 
attracted the attention of people on the Dehradun railway platform when the grandfather was there. So Toto remained in the bag as far as Saharanpur, but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turnstile, Toto suddenly poked his head out of the bag and gave the ticket collector a wide grin. So um, Toto remained inside the bag uh, till the Saharanpur game, but while when the grandfather was uh, asking for the ticket on the ticket counter, Toto, what he did, he suddenly bring out his head from the bag and uh, he gave a smiling look with his teeth at the ticket collector. The poor man was taken aback with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance. He said, sir, you have a dog with you. You will have to pay for it accordingly. Now this uh, ticket collector was surprised, shocked when uh, he saw this and uh, and grandfather uh, became annoyed when he asked for that you have a dog with you and you have to pay for the ticket of this uh, pet which you are taking with you he thought that this monkey was a dog in vain did grandfather take toto out of the bag in vain did he try to prove that mon a monkey did not qualify as a dog or even as a quadrupted, Toto was classified a dog by the ticket collector and 3 rupees was a sum handed over as his fare. Now, although grandfather tried to explain that Toto is a monkey, not a dog, and in vain, vain here refers to useless. He was uselessly trying that this monkey is not a dog. Uh, you cannot uh, go for his ticket. But... As he considered, the ticket collector said that he is a quadrupted. Quadrupted means he is having four feet. So he would be classified in the category of dogs. And he has to pay a sum uh, of three rupees as his ticket price. Then, grandfather, just to get his own back, took from his pocket our pet tortoise and said, What must I pay for this since you charge for all animals? Now, uh, grandfather was also taking his uh, tortoise in his pocket. So, he asked from uh, the ticket collector that whether he has to pay for this. Um, he questions that from ticket collector. The ticket collector, looking closely at the tortoise, prodded at with his four fingers, gave grandfather a pleased and trumpet look and said, no charge, it is not a dog. So, uh, he just simply pushed uh, with his forefinger that tortoise and then he says very uh, it was uh, grandfather he gave a very pleasing look and said to him that he will not charge for this tortoise because it is not a dog but he charged for the monkey so that was uh, what incident occurred with grandfather when he took toto with him uh, to saharanpur When Toto was finally accepted by grandfather, he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey Nana. Now, on Toto's first night in the stable, grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable. To his surprise, he found Nana without apparent cause pulling her at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay. So this Toto when uh, was finally accepted by grandmother when she accepted that this pet was there she come to know about it and she accepted it then he was given a place in stable stable is the horse shelter and where a donkey uh, used to live whose name was Nana and then uh, when uh, Toto was first night was there in the stable when he was kept there for this first night grandfather wanted to see that whether he is comfortable there or not so he found that that donkey uh, now without any cause he was pulling his loop halter refers to the strap which is placed around his head he wanted to keep his head as far from the bundle of hay he don't want to be there grandfather gave nana a slap across her hunches and she jerked back dragging toto with her he had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth. Now, um, 
the grandfather he slapped across the haunches back of this donkey and she jerked it back and dragging toto with her when she jerked it he saw that toto was with her she dragged her and he had fastened on to her long ears this uh, monkey was with its sharpened teeth was fastened to the ears of this donkey that's why it was nana was very uneasy so due to this toto and nana never become friends so the, this donkey and toto never become friends because uh, this monkey created uneasiness for uh this donkey this uh, monkey created uneasiness for donkey in the uh, stable a great treat for toto during cold winter evening was the large bowl of warm water given him by grandmother for his bath he would cunningly test the temperature with his hand then gradually step into the bath first one foot then the other until he was into the water up to his neck so in the winters this um, monkey toto used to enjoy bath with warm water which um, was provided to him by grandmother so what he used to do he used to test the water first so that shows his intelligence that he is testing the water whether it is uh, warm or little bit hot and then slowly step into the water and one leg at a time so that shows his intelligence uh, he don't uh, so this is how uh, he has learned to do this by watching human beings so uh, he used to enjoy it in the water till this water is on to his neck once comfortable he would take the soap in his hand or feet and rub himself all over just like human you beings used to rub with soap and hands this monkey used to do that when the water became cold he would get out and run as quickly as he could to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself if anyone laughed at him during his this performance toto's feeling would be hurt and he would refuse to go on with his bath one day toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself alive so what happens he will he feel cold and whenever he feel cold he used to uh, uh, when the water become cold he started feeling cold the water is cold so he quickly run towards the uh, fire where in the kitchen which was burning there so that to dry himself uh, so he felt that um, cold and this shows also his intelligence that he know that where fire would be burning i would be dried up and if anybody is going to laugh at his antics so he feel he feel very badly hurt so one day uh, an incident is described here that how he uh, almost boiled himself alive a large cat kitchen kettle had been left left on the fire to boil for tea and toto so finding himself with nothing better to do decided to remove the lid finding the water just warm enough for a bath he got in with his head uh, stucking out from the open kettle this was just fine for a while until the water began to boil toto then raised himself a little but find it cold outside sat down again he continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and hauled him half boiled out of the kettle so there was a big kettle large kettle in the kitchen for boiling water so what he did he found that the water is the lid was not on the kettle so at that time the water was just warm so he went uh, inside the kettle and uh, feel good in that warm water but as the fire was burning the kettle started boiling so he started jumping and uh, coming down again so he was almost half boy and then grandmother arrived and hauled him he just pulled him out of that he was almost half boiled out of the kettle so that is that are the kind of mischief this monkey was doing if there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief that part was largely developed in toto he was always tearing things to pieces whenever one of my aunts came near him he made every effort to get hold of her dress and tear a hole in it so this monkey was very destructive uh, and uh, we can say that this monkey was having a very mischievous mind and whatever mischief he could do he used to do that he loved tearing things and whenever author's aunt used to come to their house he used to tear a hole in her dress he tried to get the uh, get hold of uh, her dress and used to tear a hole in it 
One day at lunch time, a large dish of pulao stood in the center of the dining table. We entered the room to find Toto stuffing himself with rice. My grandmother screamed and Toto threw a plate at her. One of my aunts rushed forward and received a glass of water on the face. So one day what another incident is explained to you here that what Toto did that the dish of plow was there on the dining table during the lunch time and when they entered the room they find that Toto was eating that rice from the table and when grandmother shouted at this so grandmother threw a plate at her. And even one of the aunt, when she tried to rush forward to make that monkey move, he threw a water on her face. When grandfather arrived, Toto picked up the dish of plow and made this exit through the window. So when grandfather came for the rescue, so he quickly picked up the dish of plow and ran away from the window. We found him in the branches of a jackfruit tree, the dish still in his arm. He remained there all afternoon eating slowly through the rice determined on finishing every grain and then in order to spit grandmother he or who had screamed at him he threw the dish down from the tree and chatted with delight when it broke into a hundred pieces. So he was uh, in the on the jackfruit tree for the whole afternoon eating that food and uh, he finishes all the grain from the plate and he wanted to spite grandmother. Spite means he wanted to hurt grandmother by doing some kind of annoying act because she screamed at him. So what he did, he threw the that dish, that plate from above the tree and then this, that dish was broken into pieces. So uh, chattered refers to the way the sound monkeys used to make. So he made that sound and with happiness that he has broken that. So all these things which this monkey was doing, whether he was breaking the things or he was uh, making hole in the uh, cupboards or in the dresses, all sort of stuff, this uh, mischievous acts this monkey was doing, uh, which fe uh, then grandfather felt that Toto is not a kind of pet which should be kept at home. So obviously Toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long even grandfather realized that we were not well to do and could not afford the frequent loss of dishes clothes curtains and wallpapers so these are the things which um, destruction which this monkey was making so these uh, people these people are not that much rich that they can uh, go on filling this kind of losses so they've decided to give it back to the tonga driver so grandfather found the tonga driver and sold toto back to him for only three rupees earlier he brought it for five rupees now he sold it only for three rupees to him and give it back to him so uh, this chapter as i told you this is how this story ends where uh, they tell us about how this monkey used to behave and what kind of mischief he did uh, with other pets also and with human beings living there. So uh, from this chapter we come to know that interaction between human and animals is there uh, but it's not always a good one with all sort of animals. Because every animal cannot adapt themselves to the human way of life. Generally, dogs are considered to be the best pets. But um, not all the pets can be kept at home because sometimes they can be very dangerous also. So that how that is the thing which is reflected through this chapter. Now children, you should go through the chapter thoroughly and uh, read this chapter once again. In the next class, I would be sending you uh, word meanings and different types of question answers we are going to discuss in this chapter. Thank you class. Thank you very much.